The NATO assault on Muammar Gaddafi's forces is now in its 17th week. The rebels haven't succeeded in assaulting his capital, Tripoli, but we wanted to know how the rebels are faring. So we asked Mark Phillips to check in on the fighting in the mountains outside Tripoli, where Gaddafi's opponents have a stronghold. In a war known for swings of mood and fortune, there's a new jump to the step of the soldiers joining the rebel fight against Muammar Gaddafi up in Libya's western mountains. This has become the war's newest and most dynamic front, where the rebels have pushed closest to Gaddafi's seat of power in Tripoli. It's also where those manning the forward position say Gaddafi is fighting back. He's still shooting, yes, Brad, he's still shooting in this road. missiles on this road. That's danger for you. Gaddafi is definitely still shooting. We were able to pull back quickly as the old Soviet style and highly inaccurate Grad missiles began to drop. But the rebels held their positions under the daily barrage. This is important ground they've taken. This is the furthest point of the rebel advance so far. It's a little village called Qualish. The rebel positions appear to be in those buildings just along the ridge there. It's now being targeted by Grad missiles fired by Gaddafi forces. From here to Tripoli, maybe 60 miles. And where are the Gaddafi forces? Are? From Wazin on the Tunisian border, the rebels have pushed Gaddafi's forces out of a string of mountain towns and now hold a hundred mile long slice of territory on the high ground. When do you think you can push toward Tripoli? Tomorrow if God wants us. God willing, tomorrow. <laughs> it's NATO's air power that has made the advance possible, even if the system is rough. What's lacking? Uh, lacking is NATO, precision NATO strikes. Rebels like Ahmed Shabani, who comes from Vancouver, says he's been sending emails requesting NATO airstrikes, probably via the loose rebel command structure in Benghazi. You know, because they're, they're moving in twos and small numbers, mm -hmm. and, you know, it gets... The Gaddafi forces. Yeah, and it gets difficult to, to seek and destroy when they're just moving in twos, hiding under trees, camouflaged. It's much too soon to talk of a sense of victory here, but there is at least a growing sense of progress, in a Libyan kind of way. How long have you been training? A I, uh, I, uh, month. One month. A month yes. do, do you feel you're ready to fight now? I am ready, anytime. Yeah. And any time is coming. Mark Phillips, CBS News in Libya's Western Mountains.